What's going on guys? Welcome back to The Shelf and today we are going to be talking about out of print and rare Blu-rays. Now when I had the idea to maybe do a video like this, I thought, well, I have a few of these, but there's no way I have enough to necessitate an entire video. But then I started doing some research and I started watching some other creators' videos and I realized that I actually had a little bit more out of print stuff than I thought I did. I don't have some of the really heavy hitters, like I don't have Dead Alive, I don't have Dogma, I don't have that Dawn of the Dead Blu-ray. I have the second Sight 4K, so I don't really feel like I'm missing out there with that one, but I do have some pretty solid ones that I want to share with you guys. So let's just jump right into it. This is one that I saw in a, a fellow YouTuber's video, uh, Last Movie Standing. Uh, he did a video similar to this, and he pointed out that this one was out of print, which was surprising because this is a kind of newer release. It's only from 2019, and that is Ready or Not. So I, th I think with this one, it's because it's a 20th Century Fox release, and I actually have a few 20th Century Fox releases here, and that sort of explains why, because Disney owns 20th Century Fox, and they are less than interested in physical media, to put it nicely. But yeah. Uh, I think especially with the slipcover, this is obviously more valuable. That's going to be a theme with a, a good amount of these, the ones that had slipcovers. But yeah, this one goes for around like 40 to 50 with the slipcover pre-owned. Uh, new, I believe they go for more. That's going to be the case with all of these. If you have these sealed, they go for more money. But some of them even pre-owned and with slips, they go for money. So yeah, 40 to 50 for this one, roughly. The next one I want to show you guys is Near Dark, the Catherine Bigelow vampire film. If I'm not mistaken, this used to go for more money, but even still pre-owned, this goes for around $40 to $50. So yeah, this is a good one to have. It's got this sort of Twilight-esque cover. I believe this was released around when Twilight was popular, so they kind of made this sort of Twilight Edward Cullen type of, uh, of cover to kind of cash in on the success of that. Next one I want to show you guys is Rosemary's Baby. This one's from Criterion. I believe the license for this one lapsed, and so this one is a little harder to find now. This was actually the first Criterion I ever got back in like 2021, I think. But yeah, brand new, sealed, this one goes for like $60 to $80, and pre-owned it goes for like $30 to $40. This one's kind of controversial, you know, I got the whole Roman Polanski of it all. Uh, but you can't take away the fact that this is a great movie, and a lot of people worked on this movie who aren't named Roman Polanski, so... Uh, yeah, I'm going to separate the art from the artist kind of guy, and this is a very good movie. There are other ways to watch this. They made they had a 4K that came out like last year, I'm pretty sure. Um, so that's a more affordable option that you can de that's like readily available. But if you are a Criterion person, this one's going to cost you a little bit more if you want to get it. All right, this next one is a little tricky. Uh, it's the Buffy the Vampire Slayer Blu-ray from 20th Century Fox. Um, you'll notice mine is actually signed by Christy Swanson, which is pretty cool. Um, but the thing about this one, I was seeing other releases of this on eBay that have like the, uh, the Disney kind of silver banner at the top. And I was struggling to kind of figure out which is the more, uh, like limited re release that one or this one that has no banner at the top. Um, regardless, I think brand new or sealed, this one can range from like $25 to $45. This next one is also kind of similar to uh, Rosemary's Baby in that the director is extremely problematic and not a good person at all. But that is Jeepers Creepers, which uh, is unfortunately a good movie, I think. I think this is a great horror film from the 2000s. Unfortunately, it's tied to a really bad person. Your thoughts on that aside... I found a listing on this that sold on eBay for $45, pre-owned, no slipcover. If you have the slip for this one, it goes for even more. And if it's sealed, then you, I don't know what you could be looking at upwards of like 80 bucks for this one. This next one I was pretty surprised to learn is going for so much money. This is a childhood favorite of mine. This is the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Blu-ray. With the slipcover, you could be looking at $65 to $75 for this one. I don't know what makes this one so uh, so, so expensive, but yeah, this one's pretty cool. Next up, we have the Mean Girls Pink Case. This one was also hard to find, uh, solid listings for that can confirm the fact that this was worth a good amount of money. Um, with this pink case, I think sealed, you could find this for like 20 to 30 bucks. 
but I also saw some listings that were like for like under 10 bucks for this. So I'm not sure just how um, expensive this one can go for, especially since they did re-release the movie on 4K not long ago. So this, this might not be worth as much, but I do think it's a cool uh, thing to have just because you don't find uh, different color Blu-ray cases all that often. And the pink one especially is pretty cool. I see people swapping this out for like other movies too. I think I saw one for like someone put this pink case on their blob uh, Blu-ray. So like it gives you that option as well. So I think it's desirable for that reason. This next one is an underrated movie in my opinion. It's very underseen. That's Shadow of the Vampire. This is only a DVD. This movie does not have a Blu-ray but it's a really, really good movie. And hopefully with Robert Eggers' Nosferatu coming out later this year, people will uh, be going back and wanting to check this out, especially since it also has Willem Dafoe in it, which is a pretty cool uh, connection there. But yeah, I see this one selling for around 20 bucks all day long. Um, this is just the only way to watch this. There's a widescreen version, which is what I have, and then there's a non-widescreen version. I'm pretty sure they're both going for around 20 bucks. So yeah, this is the only way you can watch this movie is DVD. Here's hoping one day we get a Blu-ray or even a 4K of this. I would really, uh, I would really love that. But for now, this is what we got. This is another 20th Century Fox movie. We got Porky's. Um, I had no idea that this was gonna wind up being money, but again, 20th Century Fox. I got this for Christmas like a year or two ago. Uh, just had it on my Amazon wish list, got it. Um, yeah, not the kind of movie that you would expect to go for money. Also, there's a Shout Factory, or maybe it's a Kino double feature pack of two and three, which also goes for money. So yeah, all Porky's movies on Blu-ray go for money. This one I see going for around 40 to 60, uh, depending on uh, if it's sealed or not. So definitely keep an eye out for this one. Next up, we got From a Whisper to a Scream. This is a Vincent Price-led uh, anthology film from Scream Factory. Um, I'll be honest, I bought this one because I thought the cover was cool back when I was buying from Scream Factory, like, all day long. Uh, this is an MGM title, so I'm guessing that their license with MGM lapsed, and this one is now going for around... This one's going for around 40 bucks these days. So if you have this in your collection, it's worth some money. Next up, we have Suspiria from 2018. Uh, this is a case of, I think what makes this one desirable is the slipcover. If you have the slipcover with this one, I think it goes for around 30 bucks. Uh, but without it, you might be looking at like, I don't know, 15 to 20. Next up, another 20th Century Fox release. That is the Hills Have Eyes double feature. These are the remakes uh, of one and two um, from like 2007, I believe. Yeah, I, these are both out of print, I'm pretty sure. And uh, two might be more desirable, but they both came in this double pack. If you have this double pack, you can get around 30 to 50 bucks for this pre-owned. And the last one is yet another 20th Century Fox release. That is Joyride. Uh, this one's on the lower end. I think 20 to 30 bucks for this if it's brand new. I think this might be because Paul Walker is no longer with us. Rest in peace. So this one becomes a little more desirable. And then coupled with the fact that it's a 20th Century Fox release, it is just harder to get. But yeah, this one's a cool little suspense thriller with uh, Steve Zahn and Paul Walker. Pretty good movie. I bought this at Big Lots for, I don't know, seven bucks, something like that, maybe less. But uh, yeah, Joyride. So those are the out of print Blu-rays and DVDs that I was able to find in my collection. I might have more, I'm not sure. Um, I'd have to really scan the shelves and make sure. I only have around a thousand titles in my collection, so it's very possible that this was it. But yeah, I was su pleasantly surprised to realize that I had this many. I didn't think I had enough to kind of warrant an entire video. Um, so if you take anything away from this video, maybe look through your collection, see if you have any of these. and. If you don't really want them, you can you can sell them for some money. Uh, I always think it's cool to know that, you know, even though I have no intentions of ever selling any of these, it's cool to know that the things that I have are desirable and kind of sought after. I think that's a pretty normal reaction to have. I think people like to have things that not a lot of people other have. It's just kind of a, a human nature thing. So out of print Blu-rays are exciting for that reason. And uh, yeah. Let me know down in the comments if you have any of these and what other out of print Blu-rays and 4Ks do you have that are worth a lot of money. I'd be curious to know. Like the video and subscribe if you haven't. We talk about new movies, old movies, physical media, and horror in general. So with all that being said, please take care and watch more movies.